All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Uh, so this is going to be the first video of, of several I'll be doing on uh, how I come up with the designs and how I work with Illustrator and Photoshop. So this first video is going to be, um, you know, a beginner's guide on using Photoshop to come up with your Merch by Amazon designs. So let's go. So, what I'm going to te be teaching you guys today um, is this. So, this is going to be our end product. I'm going to show you how to get this image onto your shirt. All right? So, when we get started, I definitely would recommend for you guys to download the template that Merch by Amazon provides. I'm going to be using this to go through the whole steps, so make sure you get it. We'll open it up, keep layers, press OK, and there we go. So we can make the design either in the front or to the back. So we're going to do the front, uh, right click, and we have to go to Edit Contents. Click on Edit Contents, press OK, and you'll have something like this. So this is where you want your image uh, to be placed. So a lot of this could sometimes seem overwhelming. You have so many buttons and so many tabs to open. But we're going to keep this as simple as possible. So if you're pretty new to Photoshop, um, this is going to be pretty easy. So make sure you have your layers, layers tab. If you don't see your Layers tab, make sure you go to Windows. And we have right here clicked off layers. If we take it off, our layers, our uh, layer tap disappears, and we want it on. So let's go to layers. All right. So as you can see, you have some eyeballs. If I take the eyeball off, we don't see our our image, right? So we're going to import this image right here. All right, we got it imported. I'm gonna press OK, check mark, and now we're gonna rasterize our image. This will help us to be able to work with it in Photoshop. So right click, right over here, and this time we're gonna do rasterize the layer. All right, so now we'll be able to ma manipulate and change this image to our liking. All right, so we'll just make the background disappear and we'll work on this image. Now what I'm going to show you is what I typically have done when I was doing uh, t-shirt prints with silk screen printing. Um, most of the times when I was doing the silk screen printing, I was only using one color. So I was only constant, um, I was only making sure I had a one color design. And I used a lot, a lot of Photoshop to do this. And I'll show you what was basically my go-to procedure on coming up with designs. So I would either sketch up, sketch something out in black or white, or I would get an image that I like. And in this case, we're going to use this image right, right here. Now, when you're going to be using an image, make sure you have the license to be able to sell it. So if, if either it's your own image and, you, and you, you're using your own image to make the t-shirt design or you're getting an image from somewhere else, make sure you're, you, know, you have the license to be able to sell it commercial, commercially. Now, this is very important if you're doing merch by Amazon. All right, so we have our image right here. Um, so what basically I always did... Just a very easy process. I would go to images, well, image. I would go to the image tab, go to adjust, and then go to threshold. Now you can see with the threshold, if I move it left, it becomes more like the image just gets more white, and if I move it right, it gets darker. So 
I'm just looking around. I'm mostly interested in this section of the image, not so much here on the right with the wall. So as you can see, once I go more left, the wall kind of disappears, but also a lot of the details will disappear. So I want to have a bit of the wall and maybe I can arrange it later. So let's say around here is good. And we'll have a final result like this. Now, typically, when I was doing the silk screen printing with um, the traditional way of doing these t-shirts, what I would do is then I will get this image and then get it print out in a kind of pretty much a transparent piece of paper. Now, the transparent piece of paper or sheet will only basically have anything that's um, in black. Um, from there, I would go through the whole process of putting this uh, sheet of paper into the, um, the silk screen. Now the silk screen um, will basically will have these holes and so where where everything is black that's where the ink is going to be able to go through. And whatever is in white is basically not going to get um, any ink. So in a way if I just basically put this in, uh, in the silk screen um, Everything that's in black, that's where it's going to be the image, and your image should pretty much come out like this. Now, I can't just use this and expect it to be printed out that way when I'm doing merch. So what I need to do is basically get eliminate all of the white. So it's transparent. For this, we're going to use the magic wand tool. There are other ways to do this, but um, just for the sake of it and make it a lot easier for a lot of you, we're going to use the magic wand. We just select a white background. We press delete and the white background is, is gone. We'll go in here, press delete and the white uh, background is gone. And as you can see, that's pretty much it. We got the white background gone and that's going to be pretty much our design. Now, if you want to go through uh, more touching up like maybe you don't want the back um, the black you know the bricks so here I could fix it up using the eraser tool so uh, I just pick uh, the eraser tool here you also have a lot of options for your for your tool so let's get the, this big make it a little bigger we'll bring it up in size a bit more all right so I'll, I'll erase what I don't think is necessary and just clean it up a bit. So we just basically erase what we don't want. Maybe this line right here. And yeah, just go through the whole process of basically cleaning up your image. Now, what I'm going to show you right here is. We're gonna build. A, we're gonna have another layer. Oh well, this is our our background layer. Uh, we're gonna change it to a, a bit more of a gray. Um, all right. So we, we're in our background layer. So make sure you pick that over here, and then we're gonna fill it up with the gray that we picked already. So if we pick a different color besides white, this is roughly what we're going to get. So let's just clean up our image a bit more. So with the eraser tool, always make sure you're on the image you want to erase or on the layer that you want to erase. So you might just be erasing um, some other part. So this is where the tedious process can come in. So, you know, if... If you want this perfect, you're going to have to go through these steps. But if you're fine with what you already got, you can, you know, you can pretty much load it up as it is.
all right so i'm pretty much happy how it is but i still want to eliminate some of the white here so go back to my magic wand i'll select the white part eliminate eliminate anything that's pretty big don't necessarily need to eliminate everything you can it would make it actually a lot better but um I don't want to make this video too long. Um, Okay, I'm pretty happy with how it looks. Uh, so let's just make the image a bit bigger. Um, it's a good idea to fill out your space. One is when you're competing with all these other designs, um, people aren't always necessarily looking at your uh, as your, your image at this size. Usually you'll have your image roughly around this size because you have, you know, small t-shirts displayed. Um, on the Amazon website. So if you can see your image at this size, I think it's a good idea or a good practice to do. Um, if, because if you do have a small image, it'll be easier to skip um, for the customer to skip it just because they don't want to click it and see what it actually is. So yeah, so that'll be the design. Now, typically what I like doing is actually putting things on um, black t-shirts. So I'm gonna get a, get, change the um, background color black. So I go here to my little swatch here, go all the way to the corner, it'll be zero, zero, zero. I'll get a black and then we'll go make sure we're on the right layer. So the background layer right here, um, press fill and that'll be the foreground is that color the background color of here would be the white so we want to make foreground press ok and it fills it all in black now we can't see our image but that's okay so now we're gonna go to our where our image is click on that layer we go to image adjust and invert it will just flip the color and now, as you can see, this is roughly what will what will be printed on the T-shirt. <clears throat> All right, so now it's time to export our image. Make sure you go to your background image and you get rid of it. Definitely need a transparent background, and we're going to export it as a PNG. So then we'll go right here. We'll go to Save As. We go to PNG. I'm going to put it on my desktop. Let's say graffiti. Um, and yeah, let's save it. Continue. So here's our image that we just created. Um, this is one I did uh, previously. I actually like this one more with actually the ground and the a bit of the brick work and this is the one I already put on a t-shirt so this will be the final result and I'll just be hoping that actually someone really likes this this definitely reminds me of a bit of a more of a street art Banksy kind of feel I'm definitely thinking of doing more of these and seeing how they work out um, using my own images and playing around with the settings. I'm definitely gonna come out with more videos and show you some of the stuff I'll be doing. I hope you like this. And I'll be coming up with um, more videos with Illustrator as well, as I definitely prefer using Illustrator um, versus Photoshop for the t-shirts designs. All right guys, see you in the next video. Peace.